National Women's Committee is proud of CUPE's leadership on women's issues. With violence and hate crimes on the rise, this work is crucial. That's why CUPE will continue to join with other women to march, resist, and build strength in the face of bigotry and oppression. As we look at how different forms of oppression intersect and overlap, we recognize that women can be further marginalized by race, religion, ableism, colonialism, homophobia, and transphobia. Since our last convention, we have accomplished a lot. We raised awareness, promoted legislation, and developed bargaining language on domestic violence as a workplace issue. We took action on violence against women on December 6th and at memorials for missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. We created bargaining language against discrimination and harassment and for pay equity and other equality language. We contributed to CUPE's work on federal pay equity legislation and helped update CUPE's policies on childcare and parental leave. We deepened our understanding of the barriers confronting deaf women and women with disabilities. We helped organize and negotiate for members in female-dominated and high-precarity sectors like social services, home care, and for-profit long-term care. We supported International Women's Day events in our workplaces and communities. And we continued to work on international human rights legislation and policy, including at the United Nations. CUPE's National Women's Committee was deeply saddened to lose two members this year, sisters Judy Lavallee and Susan Shiner. In May, we were shocked by the sudden passing of Judy Lavallee, whose involvement with CUPE spanned over two decades. She served in many capacities, including as an executive of CUPE Local 1550, the Provincial Healthcare Council, and the CUPE Manitoba Provincial Executive. Judy, you were like family to many, and we won't forget you. In August, our committee also lost Susan Shiner, known across Newfoundland and Labrador for her feminist, labor, arts, and social justice activism. Susan served on CUPE Newfoundland and Labrador's Equality Committee, among many other roles. She was a longtime member of both CUPE Local 3762 at Iris Kirby House and CUPE Local 3017 at Daybreak Parent Child Center. Susan, you will be sorely missed. Together, we'll keep equality at the heart of everything CUPE does. For more on our work, read the full report in your kits. <laughs>